Beko and completing a research and rescue missions. Before the demonstration, let me tell you a little bit about the United States Coast Guard. It's one of our five military services. Um, and when the distress calls comes in, search and rescue coordinator quickly analyzes the situation and determines the Coast Guard assets are best equipped to aid the person or the person's distress. The H-65 Dolphin is capable of speeds of 175 knots, and it carries helicopters to sea as they're, uh, as they're coming in to do everything. Once the survivor's been located, the rescue phase begins, and the pilots and flight mechanics carefully load the rescue swimmer and to pick up the survivor. Once the swimmer signals for the type of rescue device, the helicopter crew will see for a pickup, and the rescue swimmer serves a vital role for the crew. Training the number once the crew and patient are stable and safely in the helicopter, the crew will head to the nearest hospital or airport to transport the survivor for further treatment. And then once this is complete, this ends the rescue phase of our search and rescue operations. And as the helicopter you are watching today responds to the risk calls, expanding from the White Lake, Louisiana to Matagorda Bay, Texas, covering more than 225 nautical miles. Air station personnel and aircraft are on call 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, to assist persons or vessels in distress. This crew, along with approximately 75 personnel from Air Station Houston, maintain and operate three and 65 Dolphin helicopters, which are located here at Ellington Field. Today's crew of the H-65 Dolphin are Commander James Connor and Lieutenant Matt Hanks are the pilots. The flight mechanic is AMT, Coast Guard Air Station Commanding Officer, Commander Ryan Matthews. And the men and women of Coast Guard Air Station use you as honor and serve you in the case of All right, ladies and gentlemen, how about a huge round of applause for the United States Coast Guard? Lieutenant Commander Jeff Marina, thank you very much, sir. Expertly done. We are so proud. Thank you for your service to the folks here in Houston and across our nation. Hey, I'm joined now by Grandma and Grandpa Or. If Grandma and Grandpa are here with you, let's put them in their once in a lifetime experience to sit in the FHU's cockpit and have Mavericks on the canopy rail, right? I love it. And a lot of folks actually have photos from previous years or when they were younger and they're out there recreating that very same memory. So it's a ton of fun right here at Show Center. You can't miss it. It's got a Top Gun flag, an American flag, and... Uh The U.S. Navy Raptor, excuse me.
show center at 400 miles per hour. Stalin and Spud pull the aircraft into the vertical and roll the canopy towards the crowd. At the top, the air crew will push the nose below the horizon, then pull back or pull the nose back above the horizon before yawing the aircraft without ever taking its canopy off the crowd. This ability to rapidly swap nose position and tail position gives the Super Hornet a distinct advantage in the air-to-air -air arena of a dogfight.
wire is 1,100 feet long. From the air, it appears as small as a postage stamp. In order to land in an area of one-tenth the length of a normal-sized runway, carrier aviators must touch down between four wires stretched across the deck of the ship. To do this, we use an optical landing system commonly referred to as the ball. During the final portion of the approach, the air crew and landing signals officer, known as paddles, work together to get the aircraft safely aboard. Let's listen in on the final approach. and dedicated young men and women to maintain, fix, and fly these aircraft. Peaches, appreciate that. Now, you know why he's an Astros, Astros fan, ladies and gentlemen. And gentlemen. Peaches, Peaches is from right here in your hometown. Your hometown. He's, he's a Galveston, Galveston native. native. So how about another huge round of applause for the Rhino Demo, Demo team. team. Lieutenant Ryan, Ryan Garcia, Garcia call sign Peaches, Peaches from Galveston, Galveston Texas, Texas, sir. Thank, thank you very much for your team. team. Great, Great demonstration. We're honored to have you all with us here today. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yet another exciting event, event here at Wings, Wings Over Houston 2021. 2021. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, it is just beginning to get exciting. If you're not excited yet, yet it's, it's coming. coming. We've got, got some special treats for you today that won't happen any other place in the United States, as well as they won't happen at any other air show except right here at Wings Over Houston 2021. And we're getting ready to do that here in just a minute. And followed in just a few minutes after that, we're going to get to see our friends and neighbors from Canada and the snowbirds. They're all getting ready. They're getting in the jets. They're getting wrapped up and ready to go. So while you're waiting for that, don't forget to take advantage of all of our fine vendors that are here, they've got a ton of food options. There's snow cones, there's food, there's drinks, cherry limeades, lemonades, all kinds of stuff. There are fantastic vendors here that you can get that one-of-a-kind souvenir. And don't forget our Dream Big F-A-18 Hornet Cockpit Experience right here at Show.